Next topic. Oh, topic three already. I'll go for four because, you know, why not? I'm going to talk about something a little bit more serious. I think it's going to call, I'm going to talk about commitment. Commitment to your goals, commitment to your dreams, commitment to your hopes, whatever things that you have on your mind. Because I am going through, as most of you know, I'm going through a little, uh, not crisis, but a change in lifestyle, lifestyle change, if you will, at the moment and uh, in careers. And uh, I've been doing this one job that I've had for quite some time. At least I've been involved in this community for 17 years. No, I haven't been working there for 17 years, but I've been involved with it. And for the most part, it's good. But recently, over the past you know year and a half, it's been kind of falling down where things aren't as smooth or as... Uh, I don't know what the word is. Um, it's not right how things were being treated. People are being treated. How things are being transferred. Messages being translated to people and stuff like that. And I think it's time that I need to commit and change it. And it's very similar to how I did this already when I moved to California. I knew that was a time to go because... If I didn't, I knew that I'd be in this path for a while. Not that it was a bad path at that time. It's just I felt the wheel was spinning and I wasn't doing anything to further myself. So I moved out to California. I attempted to get one video editing job. One. Yes, I know that was not good in my... Uh, I should have you know, done more, but there was a lot of good that came out of it. I invested more in Twitch. I invested more in YouTube and spent this time growing personally in editing, in content producing, in events, in living on my own for the first time ever and managing that life and then also exploring and becoming a better person or at least I hope a better person, being a little bit more less self-conscious and going out and doing things with people hell i went to kind of i went to san francisco which is an eight hour drive from where i was living to go hang out with people i have never met before for kind of funny life too i did content going up to kind of funny life too i came back and did a freaking video and those videos are in our top 10 for youtube one is the top video with views not that we're exploding over there but i feel i have a lot of pride in that video taking or being one of the most viewed um and enjoying that and becoming part of that community and not being the most social butterfly but still building relationships there however small they may be and building it on to something new with kind of funny life two being a success i went back to kind of funny life three when i came home to new york and flew out there again met even more people and then kind of funny prom is coming up next month and i'm doing that again so these experiences over in california that commitment i felt even though I didn't succeed in all of the fields that I wanted to get a career and, you know, live out there and things like that. Obviously, those aspects of my life didn't go the way I wanted to, but other things did, and it was still the right move. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, those experiences were needed and did happen and did push me in the right direction. And I feel this is another time where the crossroads are happening where it's either stay or it's go and like the stresses and things like that just help push it last time when I left it wasn't necessarily I wasn't happy it was just I felt like I said that if I didn't take it it would have been more repetition and things like that and here originally it was just I was upset with how my work was going I felt like I wasn't doing anything really when I had things to do it was great when I didn't have things to do it sucked because there was so many other things I could do I could edit I could do streaming I could play games I could go out and explore and progress myself and further myself like I was doing out in California now things changed people left and I got more responsibilities and that's great and that's fine and I don't mind doing them but the thing is when we're treated with such poor attitude, when we're putting in the effort and we're told constantly that you're not doing enough or you're not doing this right, it's very degrading and it crushes you. And I don't think this is a healthy atmosphere to be in. 
and it's only one certain aspect I feel very happy with when I'm doing my work it gets done it's productive I enjoy the challenge of getting new people in the classroom and how to keep them as a taekwondo instructor and I enjoy teaching classes and I feel more connected with the community and the students because I already face this challenge of a social barrier not that I'm you know golden and a hundred percent but I feel more connected now than I did when I left and um like I feel that those aspects are strong but while this one just outweighs it unfortunately because why would I want to do this if I'm being treated this way and it's unfortunate because we've seen another location where they are growing they are improving and the I guess you can call co-worker that runs it like he's very he's a hard worker he does what he does well and you know he deserves all of the accomplishments there we go that's the word accomplishments and things that he's done because he puts in the effort but it's also because he's motivated and driven and he doesn't have somebody over his shoulder every goddamn second if you let people do things and not judge them so much I think they would be more willing to do stuff like there's so many ideas in my head of social media things we could do because that's kind of the thing I'm in charge of but I feel like I can't bring them up because they would be constantly shut down and things like that and I don't think that's healthy for a work environment or a personal environment or wherever it is if you don't feel comfortable to uh, explain that to someone or elaborate on it I mean not that all good ideas are or not sorry not that all ideas are good ideas or can't be transferred and made better I just think if the fear of letting that idea out is there and there's too much judgment to even put a foot in the door then I don't think that's good it's just you're so set in your ways on this one path that it doesn't help others you're part of a team at work you should be able to take person a's opinion person b's opinion person c's opinion this works this doesn't work how do we make this better and you know evolve but if one person even though i understand this is your business and you're in charge and things like that if you can't take things from the bottom of the ladder or the middle of the ladder or however you want to look at it and adjust and learn then not that you're setting yourself up to fail but you might not be able to adjust and um evolve like you want to or things like that now with that i've like i said i feel it's this crossroads where i've set a timetable for myself and i think that it's time to move on and it sucks in a way i've come to peace with it myself um but like there obviously there'll still be repercussions like how does the school continue without me not that I'm the only okay this is rough because I am there and I'm mostly running everything and stuff like that but like I'm nervous how students will be affected I'm nervous how families will be affected and like it's not my intention to put that on them just by based on my choice and there are a lot of benefits from this program that people can do like I'm not regretting ever doing what I'm doing that's the thing I that's the thing I need to make sure that is clear to everyone that I don't regret starting Taekwondo I don't regret start working here I don't regret leaving the first time I don't regret coming back I don't regret whatever this program has helped mold me into the person I am today I'm still learning from it I'm still learning from meetings I'm still learning techniques I'm still doing this that the other thing um but I feel like the limitations of me growing and adapting to what I want to do are not there. Um, so I'm nervous of the aftermath. Like I said, I've had, I voiced some stresses in the past and families show their full support for me and they're like, oh, we're going to leave if you leave. That is honestly the worst thing ever 
to hear because that's not what I want. I appreciate that your support is there. I appreciate that, you know, that camaraderie is there. But, like, that is not my intention. I'm not leaving to say, fuck you, don't go here, blah, blah, blah. That is not what I'm trying to do. All I'm doing is this situation doesn't work for me. I need to go find somewhere else where I can grow and do the things that I want to do so my life is fulfilled and I can improve on video editing. I can improve on live content. I can improve on finding a job in general, social skills, uh, developing other facets of my life that I don't even know about yet. I don't feel I can do that here. So much time is committed to that that I don't have the time I want to to try new things. Animating has fallen on the wayside. Modeling has fallen on the wayside. Video editing, I am very lucky lucky that I have been able to navigate a schedule more so I can do that, but it's on my only day off, which is Sundays, and that's the entire day for the most part. There is some days I'm very lazy and I don't do it, and it sucks because I know, hey, you need to do this, this, this. And I know I just said need, but I don't need to do it, but I want to treat it that way in such so I can reach this goal or at least improve. And having only one day to do it is very limiting. Now, obviously, with a new job or a new career, obviously, that would take up time, but I feel like time would also be become more available and at least be more productive um, with this job I have currently. There's a lot of events, and for those events, you need to volunteer, and by volunteer, it's not really volunteer. It's you go, you do it because you're told to, and you don't get paid, and that is unfortunate, and that sucks, but I get the aspect of student service that is the message that we run, but sometimes that gets ridiculous. When I can go a month and have every Saturday booked fully, it's ridiculous. Um, When I'm not allowed to take time off because we only have certain times that there are times that we have time off, that's a little funky. But instead of digging into that, I'll move on. So commitment to your goals, I think, is important. And I've been talking with more people recently, most importantly, like family members. Like I was at a family cookout today, I guess you'd call it lunch, whatever. Um, And like everybody, quite a few were asking like, how's work going? How's things and whatever. And, you know, it's the usual rigmarole of like, oh, how's everything? And, you know, oh, work and things like that. And like, oh, okay. But like they really, truly, because they're family, I know not all families are super tight and I'm very privileged to have the family I do have um, because they ask and things like that. But like I was able to delve in and really voice my thought process without being judged on what I'm doing of like, I'm not happy here. I've been really thinking about this and like I've thought of either taking a break or going to a job that has nothing to do with what I want to do just to do something different and break up the pattern and not burn out on this content creation and stuff like that. But also, yeah, I would love to do a job of game testing or do a job of video editing or whatever it may be so I can grow my skill set in there and stuff like that. And they're all like very understanding and like they want to see me succeed, which is great. And once again, it's a privilege and it's... Um, it's amazing that I have this opportunity in front of me and I can't thank them enough, whether it's close family or family that's visiting from afar. Like, it's great that they take so much interest in what I'm doing and things like that and hope for the best. And it's not just family, it's friends too. I mean, Billy, Dio, and John, both Johns, big John, little John, and uh, I mean, Charlie's a cousin, he's related. But like all these people, JC and those guys they're very supportive too and along with you guys like rainbow pancake lady super akario kiwi you know there's there's too many names to name like you're all very supportive and things like that and you're always a listening ear and give me feedback and give me opinions and stuff like that and it's very awesome to have that and uh i feel like with a strong community around you like 
your goals, whatever they are, big, small, far, near, everything, they make it more possible. And, I mean, this isn't just a rant about me and my commitment to my goals. I feel like this is a message to you as well. Whatever goals you have, even if it's the smallest thought, I feel like you should go for it. I understand it can be scary. I can understand how it can be difficult. But if you just sit down and you do it, or at least take that first step, it can be miles of progress. And it's always that first step that's the worst. Whether you need to find a new career, maybe you need to change your lifestyle, maybe you need just to exercise a little bit more, eat a little healthier. I mean, hell, I need to do that too. Um, like whatever it is, you just need to take that first step and kind of make a plan for yourself, figure out what works for you. For me, writing things down, checklists and calendars, that works for me excellent, but that might not be your thing. Maybe you need someone to do it with. Maybe you need a coach. Maybe you need a personal trainer. Maybe you need a friend, someone next to your side to do this with you. And I feel I have that. I have my little scheduling system that works. I have a support pit system with friends that I can go to and reach out to. I think you just need to find what works for you so you can build upon it and make yourself the better person. Because why? We all have limited time on here. Why waste it doing something you don't enjoy? And I know that it can't always be like this that you can just say, oh, you know, everything is perfect in your life and you're happy. But like ultimately that should be your goal is I want to do the thing that I want to do, whether it's a passion or maybe you're lucky enough to make it into a career. I believe you should find something that you have a passion in that makes you happy and find time for it. Now, does that mean, you know, we should all quit our jobs and not do what is needs to be done? No, absolutely not. You need to be smart enough and say that, hey, I need to take care of the car. I need to take care of the phone. I need to take care of my rent or whatever it may be. And then build upon that and then f kind of like fit the puzzle pieces together. And I know everybody has different challenges and things like that. And I wish you the best of luck with those challenges. But like you find a way to deal with them and then you move forward. Um, I feel like when I move out, that is going to be a big challenge for me because this job I have currently does not pay enough for living on my own. And when I hopefully do get enough income to do that, you know, I have to deal with that situation. Also interviews. I've never really had to interview for a job because I've always had one. That is going to be a hurdle for me and exploring. And when I eventually leave this job, now I got to worry about money management and whatever. And that's all very scary. And at this moment, I'm not concerned about it. I was a few months ago. It was constantly racing in my head. How would I do this? How would I do that? How would I do this? And those will come again, but it's how you handle those situations. Are you going to be the person where the situation arises and you instantly crumble and go back to the safety net? Or are you going to be the person where there's a challenge and you think it through and you fight for it? I think those fighting moments, those are the key moments of our life and those are the crossroads that I'm talking about. And I feel that those are the moments where if you step up, everything can change. Whether it's for the good, the bad, the worse, I think it always is progress for you and I think it's a good thing to do. It's recognizing those moments, learning from them, and no matter if it you know, happened to be the thing that you wanted or maybe you fell down the ladder a little bit more, it's progress that you're making and it may not be success right away, but eventually you will find that success. It's just a matter of constant effort, putting it in a little bit here and there, and then never giving up on that goal, whatever it may be. Yeah. All right, there's my tubular go get them <laughs> oh boy